here with Concordia head softball coach Todd Lavelle after a split with Dort. Uh, both games really could have gone either way. Uh, you're able to, to f thankfully end on a high note and uh, with a walk-off win in, in game two. But uh, what does that say about your team? You're, you're down to two outs, nobody on base, and still find a way to, to get it done there in the seventh. Well, it's been the theme all year. I mean, we've been in probably eight or nine close games. And uh, you know what? What I just told the ladies uh, after the game, I said those have been some valleys, and we didn't uh, win those. But in those valleys, we learned lessons, and it all all came to this game, my last uh, home game. And uh, they felt like, hey, we can do this. So you know what? I, I'm certainly proud of them. Uh, we were already in the tournament. You know, we were just jockeying for seed. You know, and we came in and battled and battled. Uh, two games, uh, like you said, either the first one could have went either way, and this one could have went. So I'm just proud of all 15, 16 people that played. And we, we've talked about Grace Bernhard after some other games. She pitches a, another gem today, and I think her, her numbers, particularly in conference play, have been been really impressive. Absolutely, but. it's. Uh, we are peaking at the right time. Um, you know what? We, we just talked about that, and uh, we're going to get in the tournament. Everybody's zero-zero, and the way our pitching staff is pitching, all three of them. Grace is pitching well as a starter. Um, Britt had a great outing today. Had a great outing at College of Saint Mary, and then I can bring Bailey in, and she's going to roll us some ground balls. So. Um, I'm, I'm really ecstatic of, of our pitching and uh, our hitting's been in the back seat here a little bit, but uh, we'll, we'll get back to work on that. And I, I tell you what, we can put those two things together, it's going to be a fun tournament. The last thing, I, I know at, at times it's been during conference play a little bit of a struggle for Leah. They, they intentionally walk Hannah in front of her, but uh, you have to like having a veteran player like her up in that situation. Yeah. There's no doubt there, Jake. Uh, I've never lost faith in Leah. Leah's a three-year starter, um, always has a great attitude. She comes to work uh, every day on this field or, or in the weight room or in the annex. And I tell you what, they, it didn't bother me that she was up there. Uh, she tracks the ball well. She was waiting for the pitch to score, and and uh, I'm happy for her because that kid deserves a, a feeling like she got today.